So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the Move 4K <laughs> new features and uh, show them off because I think it answers, it, it really is something that we've been listening to our customers. And if you have one of our new cameras, you know they have built-in auto tracking. And what's so important to me, and I know Tess really believes in this too, is it's like listening to our customers. So we released auto tracking almost a year ago and we've gotten a lot of feature requests. Our customers want to be able to track multiple people at the same time. Mm -hmm. Guess what? We can do it now. That was a big one. Um, our, our customers want to, want to be able to zoom in and get just the right headroom and just the right shot. Believe it or not, that is tricky to do from an engineering perspective, but we're going to show you that today. And so like, I just want you guys to know that we do listen to our customers. We're in the Facebook user group. Our director of, um, our, basically our IT director, right? Our director of product, Matt Davis, is in our user group answering questions all the time. And believe me, he's listening to you guys. We have a lot of cool features uh, to show you. And it's all from you guys. So I just want to say thank you. And we are going to have a customer appreciation event in April. So that's our plan. PTZ Optics is celebrating 10 years of excellence. We've been in business for 10 years, which is kind of big for a tech company. We are here to stay. We've grown our team and it's all thanks to you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's helped us. And I hope that when we demonstrate this firmware, which will be available this month, wait, it's not March yet, is it? It will be available by the end of March. There you go. March first is tomorrow. Because this month still has one more day. One more day. Oh yeah, because it's, it's a leap year. It's mm -hmm. a leap year. Tomorrow is March 29th or February 29th. Duh. That's right. Forgot about that. Every four years, you got to keep out for that leap year. Extra that leap day. day. Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's jump into a cool demo. All right, so we've got a Move 4K 20X in this studio. And I want to show the software mic because I want to show the new web UI. Um, this is coming to all of our Move 4K customers. We are trying to get as many of these features into the Move SE, but I want to be clear that the Move 4K is our premium product. And so the Move 4K has more processing power, is going to be able to always do more of the advanced things than the Move SE can do. We're trying our best to pack as much we can into the Move SE, but there's a reality that you know there's a different chipset. What we're doing at PTZ Optics is a lot different than what you'll see on other PTZ cameras. PTZ Optics cameras have auto tracking built into the camera. So I can click a button on my SuperJoy, I can click a button on this camera, and it'll start auto tracking. Other PTZ cameras, you should be aware, some, if they want to do auto tracking, they have to have a software running on a computer, which is kind of the old generation, the PTZ Optics Gen 2 cameras that you might have, we do have a free software that we will give you for free that will add auto tracking to Gen 2 cameras. But the new PTZ Optics cameras have auto tracking built in, which means you can easily have auto tracking on two or three cameras and not even need a powerful computer to do it because all of it's happening on the computer. So let me show you guys what we're gonna, what we're gonna go over today. This is really, really exciting. We're gonna show you guys a lot of the things you've been asking for. One of them is auto tracking. Another is auto framing. And what that's gonna allow us to do is to track an entire group of people. The other thing we're gonna show, and this is a cool feature here, is the track now. So we're gonna be able to zoom into a specific person and track them immediately. We've also got composition, so we can have the subject in the center, or the left or the right. We can have tracking sensitivity. And then we're gonna show dynamic zoom here. And that's one of my favorite features. What this allows us to do is to dynamically zoom in and out during an auto track. So let's go ahead and start auto tracking here. And one of the things it's gonna, you're going to see here is it's already recognizing that there's three people in the frame. Uh, let me just merge this out a little. You see these little boxes right here? We can see that there's three people in the frame and you can actually choose the person you want it to track. So there's a little number over me, I'm one, Tess is two, and John is three. So I'm gonna choose myself by clicking preset one. And so now I have selected myself as the auto tracking target. I'm gonna put on my wireless microphone here so I can start to walk around and show you guys how this works. Now I have dynamic zoom on. So what that allows me to do is to let Mike, my producer, choose how much zoom we want or we need. 
So the auto tracking's on. And I'm going to ask Mike, let's maybe I'll come over here a little. I'm going to ask Mike to zoom in on me a little. And he's able to do that. He's probably got a lot going on right now back there. He's doing a live stream. But see, now we can kind of start changing the framing of our auto tracking. I mean, how cool is that? So if you're a pastor, you're a worship leader, and you want to be the focus, we have, are giving you the ability to zoom it in and auto track a specific person. So if you have two PTZ cameras, you can have one camera tracking the pastor in head to toe, to, to head to toe from one angle, and then another camera tracking the pastor at like a head and shoulders like this. So this is really, really cool, and it, it's exciting. Uh, it works, right? It's tracking really, really well. It's not going to lose me. But now you can see I've got this wide angle, right? Now you can see the audience. Now you can see the stage. Still tracking me, just fine. But Mike's got the ability to easily zoom in and out. And you can do that with a joystick controller, right? So I could take this joystick right now and zoom it in a little if I want to. Still tracking. Right? So from a producer standpoint, you can really have some nice control. And we're adding more and more features to this. So I want to just dig into it a little more and explain that when you work with PTZ Optics, not only are we listening to you, not only are we building these products with you from your you know, questions and, and really from your advice of what's going to work for you, but we are continuously adding features to these cameras, continuously working on the firmware. And these cameras have a five-year warranty. So for five years, these cameras are going to continually, you can, you're part of our family. You're part of the team here. You can join the Facebook user group, and we'll listen to you, we'll connect with you. And for five years, you get the educational support. It's really lifetime support, honestly. We will support you for the lifetime of the product. But for five years, if anything goes wrong, we're going to be there to fix it for you. So let's zoom this baby out, which I think is pretty cool that I can do that with my own joystick right here. Mike can do it from his web interface. And I want to show you something that I think is even cooler, and that's auto framing. Now you'll notice something that's even more interesting is that We've turned on auto framing, all right? So now all three of us are going to be in frame. This is cool. So if we're close together, it's going to zoom in on us. If we move apart, it's going to zoom out. So let's imagine we're in like a play scenario, right? And maybe we're moving over here a little. There's a play going on. It's making it feel like and by the way, we can adjust the sensitivity, right? How much do we want it to respond? Um, but we're moving around, things are happening. The camera is making it feel like there's a real camera operator operating the camera when you have multiple people that you want it to focus in on. So now think about this for a second. Let's say you're the star of the play test. We've got one camera zoomed into you, tracking you the whole time just the way we want it. Then we've got another camera automatically framing everyone, right? Now you can have one volunteer. They don't even need to touch the cameras. They're going to always, there's always going to be one following the pastor. There's always going to be one that is framing all the people on stage. And they can, of course, still take manual control. So this is a cool feature. I mean... I am so stoked to start using this kind of thing. And whether you want the whole band to be on stage. So now let's, go, let's all sit down on the couch for a second and just see what happens. And look at that. It's just going to gonna pull us all <laughs> in. Now if I go sit over at my desk, it's going to move over to here. That's how this works. And it's, it's literally that cool. This is working. Now, it kind of it lost me a little because I'm hiding behind this, this space over here, right? You can't see through, through walls. But you could see how it immediately refocused on the next available group, right? Which is incredible. 
It's so great. And so I'm stoked. Now, these cameras, as you know, come with, we have options for NDI, but we also have now options for Dante. And Dante is used with a lot of houses of worship to manage their audio. So we're continuing to try to bring you guys the latest and greatest with also still being one of the most affordable options available. Um, so there's a reason why we're so popular with houses of worship. Um, not only are we dedicated to working with you guys and having educational events and having a support team in the USA who will pick up the phone and help you not just on your PTZ camera, but your workflow and the things that you're working on. And we're partnering with folks like Jake, right, from Church Front, like Frank from Pro Church Lights, and really helping, you know, organizations do a good job at spreading the message of God using live streaming. So it's, it's, we're passionate about it. It's, it's what really, you know, makes us happy and excited about doing what we're doing. And other than that, um, that is really what I wanted to show. This, this firmware is coming out soon. We're going to have firmware for the Move SE soon. We're going to have a really exciting launch at NAB, which is in April. And then I want to invite everybody to a customer appreciation event. It's going to be at the end of March. Sorry, April. End of April. At the end of April. And we want to give all of our customers and, and people we work with early access to some of the coolest stuff we're working on that quite frankly came from you all so thank you so much we appreciate you working with us and being part of this event today what did i miss tess i think that's it um you're gonna head into the breakout room to cover some questions i will personally yes i will i will go into the breakout room to cover some questions yeah i'll let you guys introduce justin who's going to talk about dante which i do think is very exciting we've had an awesome event um, oh, there was one other thing that I was supposed to show. Mike knows this about the Super Joy. Um, but I don't have to, but I can if you want. But essentially, the Super Joy here is able to turn off and on auto tracking. So I can click a button and turn auto tracking on and off uh, with a button. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the Super Joy, as I was showing, allows me to also use the auto tracking and zooming. So I can actually use a SuperJoy controller to zoom the camera in while it's tracking. So it's just, it's really intuitive. If you, if you have a SuperJoy or a PT Joy G4, you can start and stop auto tracking. There's even a button on the top of this joystick and on the PT Joy G4. You can click it, it'll start tracking, or you can click it to start framing. That's newer. I don't know if that's on if that's released yet, but I have seen it. So start and stopping tracking, and um, you know these are the types of tools that make it easy for a volunteer to okay. I need to position the camera, call a preset, which is a the camera will zoom directly into a specific space that um, you know you want it to go quickly and easily. So volunteers now can operate multiple cameras from a single space. Jake was talking about that. Mm -hmm. It's intuitive, right? It's a joystick. It's exciting for the younger generation that we're trying to get more involved in, you know, worship ministry and volunteering. We've got the auto tracking, which is going to make, you know, smaller teams able to do so much more. The auto framing. So if you're a house of worship who's saying, hey, you know, we do want to do more plays, more productions. We want to, we do have musical um, things. We have younger students who want to get involved in, you know, unleashing this type of technology. A, it's spreading the message of God, which is a core, you know, that's what we're trying to do at Houses of Worship. But B, this is opening up a lot of opportunities for, you know, worship leaders who want to do a little bit more uh, for uh, moms groups to spread their message. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of moms out there that need help. There's fathers that need help. I mean, all the things that the church does, this can be a way to click a go live button and get someone to walk into the church. That's just the one thing I'll leave you guys with because we got to let Justin on, is I think we all realize now after the past few years that live streaming is not going to keep people from coming in. It's going to bring people in. It's getting on social media. It's getting the attention first and having people realize there are so many people that need our help. They really do. Um, whether it's mothers, whether it's fathers, whether it's people in need. 
and it's our job to reach out to them. And so this is going to help. Um, and it's going to be exciting and it's going to be fun for the volunteers. And it's fun for, I think, everyone involved.